Well, it was a crisp autumn day, don't you know, and Br'er Fox, he decided he wanted to go hunting. He'd made his peace with Br'er Rabbit a few months back, and he thought it would be a fine thing if they went hunting together. So Br'er Fox stopped by Br'er Rabbit's place and invited him to come along. No sir, Br'er Fox, said Br'er Rabbit. I see tired today and intend to take it easy. Nothing Br'er Fox could say changed his mind, so Br'er Fox went hunting alone. And what a grand hunt it was. He ended up with a bag full of game, and was whistling merrily as he headed down the road toward home. After spending a lazy day in his garden, Br'er Rabbit was feeling a mite peckish, and was wishing he'd gone hunting with Br'er Fox, on account of all the good game he could be cooking up right this minute if he did. Then he got an idea. Maybe he could still get some of that there game. Br'er Rabbit went running down the road in the direction of the woods, listening for Br'er Fox. When he heard Br'er Fox a whistling as he trotted down the road, Br'er Rabbit laid himself down on the road and pretended to be dead. A moment later, Br'er Fox rounded the bend and spotted the big fat bunny a laying beside the road. Wee did that rabbit look good. He was big and fat and round. Br'er Fox poked at Br'er Rabbit a bit, and even turned him over. What a fat tummy he had. But then he shook his head and said, I reckon this bunny's been dead a long time. He won't be good eaten after all this time. I'd best leave him be. And Br'er Fox went on down the road. As soon as he was gone, up jumped Br'er Rabbit. He took a short cut through the meadow and got ahead of Br'er Fox. Then he lay back down on the road and played dead again. Well, when Br'er Fox saw a second fat, dead rabbit, he decided he'd better do something about it. Chuckling with delight, he set down his heavy bag of game next to the dead Br'er Rabbit, and thrust him inside it. I'd best run back and get that other fat bunny afore someone else does, Br'er Fox said to himself. Leaving the heavy bag where it was, Br'er Fox hurried back to the place he'd seen the other dead rabbit. When Br'er Fox was out of sight down the road, Br'er Rabbit scrambled out of the bag, gathered the game up in his arms, and ran home to make him some stew. A few minutes later, he saw Br'er Fox stalking down the lane toward his house. He looked plenty mad, did Br'er Fox. Br'er Rabbit grinned and called to him, How was ye hunting, Br'er Fox? Br'er Fox glared at him and said, Not so great, Br'er Rabbit. All my game seems to have run away on me. Br'er Rabbit laughed and laughed at him. Well now, that's too bad. But I just so happen to have a spare bag full of game right here. How about you sit down and have some stew with me? You rascal. I oughta make you really dead stead of just playin' it, shouted Br'er Fox. But Br'er Rabbit only laughed at him until finally Br'er Fox laughed too. Then they both sat down and had some stew.